rollover relief is available when uh, an asset is being sold and uh, when we use the proceed to buy another asset so you have to sell a qualifying asset and the proceed is to reinvest uh, into the replacement of qualifying asset that both the asset must be of qualifying nature and it must be in the qualifying time period so if all the conditions are satisfied that it means that the gain on disposal of an asset is roll over or it can be deferred so roll over means deduct the gain from the cost of the replacement asset and make it the base cost so if full full proceed is invested then the gain is deferred it means that sometimes partial reinvestment is taken place in that case the rollover is partial it will not be 100 percent the rollover relief is not automatic it is to be claimed and once you will claim that then maximum gain possible is deferred you cannot preserve your uh, the gain to utilize the annual exemption amount this relief is very flexible it means that it can be uh, offset with uh, the assets might be purchased and sold several times and uh, the gain of one asset can be offset with the uh, purchase of uh, any one asset which is uh, the qualifying in nature now as far as the qualifying business asset is concerned following are part of qualifying business asset remember that we are dealing with the individual not the corporation so for individual the qualifying assets are disposal of goodwill disposal of land and building either freehold land and building or leased hold land and building and fixed plant and machinery fixed plant and machinery means those plant and machinery which are non movable now as far as the qualifying time period is concerned the time period of uh, buying the asset the replacement asset is within the four years it is not like that the this after the disposal we have to count four years the four year period will start one year before and ending three years after the acquisition of three years after the acquisition rather three years after the disposal of the asset so it's disposal of asset so it means that uh, the replacement asset can be purchased before the disposal of asset for example if the disposal took place uh, in 31st december 2019 so you can relate the acquisition of 1st january 19 with the disposal so it's like one is to three it means that uh, in this period you can purchase any replacement asset anytime now in order to claim that relief the claim must be within four years of later of the end of tax year in which the disposal is made and replacement asset is acquired whichever is later on so you have to within the four years of either disposal or replacement of asset you have to claim with the tax authority now let's see the example mr a sold a qualifying asset for 100000 sell proceed realizing a chargeable gain of 58000 to 40 on may 94 in august 94 purchased a qualifying asset at a cost of 110000 if all the proceed of a qualifying asset has been utilized then 100% gain is roll over so you can see that 100000 has been received by selling the original asset and you have invested more than 100000 the asset was the replacement asset was subsequently sold for 300000 calculate chargeable gain on the disposal of the subsequent asset so we have to calculate first of all the first gain and then we have to check the roll over amount so the sale proceed of first asset was 100000 
and gain on this is 58240 so first gain is 58240 so this is 100% roll over the full gain is roll over 58240 now what it means the replacement asset cost is 1 lakh 10000 so deduct this from the replacement asset cost roll over that is 58240 so in this way the remaining balance is uh, so 1 lakh 10000 minus 58240 so the base cost is 51760 this is the base cost so the disposal of the replaced asset item is sale proceed it has been disposed of uh, at a price of 300000 and no replacement asset was purchased so now deduct rather than the original cost deduct the base cost and this is 51760 so now this is the chargeable gain 248240 and this includes the previous chargeable gain that has been rolled over or the new chargeable gain on the second disposal now let's assume that in a state of uh, 100000 let's assume that the 110000 the replacement asset was 80000 so this means that in this scenario we can see that partial reinvestment has been taken place so if partial reinvestment is taken place first of all let me just tell you the rule if partial replacement is taken place then part of gain is chargeable is taxable at the time of disposal and part of the gain is roll over depending on how much amount not reinvested so the gain which is chargeable is the lower of a amount not reinvested b the full gain choose the lower of value so in the above example let's assume that the replacement asset is worth 80000 so the sale proceed was 100000 let's see it's it was 100000 and uh, replacement was 80000 so in this way amount not reinvested is 20000 now compare this amount not reinvested with the amount of proceed not reinvested with the full gain so as a result full gain is 58240 so take the lower of value and lower of is 20000 so from the gain of 58240 the chargeable amount is 20000 so the roll over is the balancing figure 
and that is 38240 this this is the balancing figure now the replacement asset cost 80000 deduct the rollover amount and that rollover is 38240 now see 38240 so the base cost is 41760 is the base cost now subsequently the asset has been disposed of at a price of 300000 so deduct this base cost from this asset that is 41760 so you will find out a figure of 258240 this is the chargeable gain on the disposal of the replacement asset so in this way you can apply the lower of formula to judge that how much is to be deferred and how much is to be chargeable immediately